What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, welcome to Okeechobee, Florida. Today's video is something totally different and something I've been wanting to do for a while. Y'all see my pro drive right there? That's my baby. Crystal Beach is also my baby too, folks, but y'all been calling me out in some videos recently saying she can outfish me. Well, guess what? It's March. It's, you know, we're nearing the end of crappie season, spec season. We call them specs here in Florida. Y'all call them crappie most other places. In Sokolay in Louisiana, white perch in other parts of the country, but they're all the same thing. I'm gonna call it a crappie. Today we're having a crappie tournament. I'm taking my mom and dad on my pro drive. Crystal, her dad, his, her dad's girlfriend, Linda, and her daughter, Carrie, are taking Mr. Beachy's boat, this pontoon right here with about 72 fishing poles on it. They've got some live minnows and they're gonna go crappie fishing on this boat. They already got an advantage though. Look, it looks like he just took every rod from a Bass Pro and put it on here and they're gonna go out there and put one in every rod holder and commence to catching crappie. We are gonna go jigging on my boat. My mom will be minnow fishing, but me and dad will be jigging. We're gonna rendezvous back here about dark and see who catches what. Now Titus has a little bit of advantage. He's been crappie fishing every day because he's retired, but he's not completely retired because him and Linda are getting ready to go back to California all summer long chasing wildfires. And for us, that's a good thing because now we can go out there and visit them and I want to do some Dungeness Crab videos. What's the lake that you went and saw? Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Leave a comment below if you've ever been to Crater Lake because Titus and Linda have been and they showed us videos of it in that place is amazing. So how this is gonna go down, Crystal Beachy's gonna take her camera and I'm gonna take mine. We're gonna go out in that lake and may the best man and woman win. Oh, sweetheart. Y'all, she's in here. Let me show you her room. No. Why not? Oh, it's a man. <laughs> Are you ready to get your booty whipped? You know, the fans have been calling me out lately saying that you could outfish well, I'll me. I'll just say that this is the only kind of fishing you can actually beat me at. Wait, no, no. Let me let me specify. Crappie jigging is the only thing you can beat me at. You guys. Speck fishing in general, we might be tied. Listen, we went out and did a practice run a little while ago. Me, her, her dad, and my dad. Each one of them caught two each. How many did I have? About 12? You had a bunch. I had a bunch. You had a bunch. So I figured I'd call her out for all you guys at home and gals saying, oh, Crystal Beachy and oh, Luke can outfish you. Well, guess what? Today's a no holds bar crappie invitational. Her against me. All right, folks, she's going to have her own camera. So if her footage isn't good, I don't know what to tell you. Mine should be good. My dad, though, he gets in a tournament with me when we're on the same boat. He gets to crowd me and elbow me. So we're going to see how this turns out. I'll see you at the lake. Crystal and her dad and Linda and Carrie, we'll see y'all out there. Same lake, different spot. All right, y'all, welcome aboard the beachy barge. <laughs> <laughs> we have Carrie, one of my good friends here. She's fishing with us this afternoon. My dad, the tan little biscuit, Titus Beachy, his girlfriend and Carrie's mom, Linda. And we are headed out to hopefully whip Gabe's tail. This is our lock tender. What's your name? Nikki. Nikki. This is our lock tender, Nikki. They're currently letting a boat through the lakeside to come through here. You can see the doors open over there. So it's gonna be a few minutes. But they check in all the boats that come through so they get our boat number. So that way they can make sure all the boats come back through before they close at 10.30 p.m. Y'all, we have reached the location. I got mom and pops. We got some minnows and we got jig poles, our ACC crappie sticks. That trolling motor you just looked at is my new power pole trolling motor. It's called the Move. I'm pretty sure you could put this on your truck and it would drive you down the road. It's so strong. This thing is nasty. It will go through virtually anything. And now with their new trolling motor, my power pole remote and my trolling motor remote is one. See this? Watch them power poles. Duck like glue. All right, y'all. This is my mom, Betty Arrington. You're How's it going, everybody. You guys, mom, you got to catch all the fish off the back with the minnows. Me and dad will try to hold our own, but she's got the magical bait. Now, listen, we're fishing against Crystal and Titus and Linda and all them. We got to win. 
I got to show them a picture of your finger. What happened to you there? Oh, that was nothing. So my mom and dad were fishing the other day and mom accidentally got tangled in one of the power poles. Dad at the same time didn't know she was tangled, deployed the power poles, which stuck the, the hook through my mom's finger. Y'all see that? It looked like it hurt. All right, doors are open. We're headed in. Those doors will open in a minute once these close and we'll be on Lake Okeechobee. Good job, Captain. As always. <laughs> Smooth sailing in the fancy pontoon. I got one. Of course, Mom with the minners. Listen, Mom, I need you to catch about 25 of them bad boys. I'm going to, if I can get to my haul the wire. We're, we call that rod she's using a canal rocket. You got him? You want me to come help you? No, I don't need any help. All right, mom's got one so far. Me and dad ain't got none. We actually fished a couple hours ago around that point. We might end up going over there here very soon. Number one. Yo, we may be cheating a little bit because we're starting out with about 12. Don't tell Crystal. It's dog eat dog around here. Thank you. <laughs> A few moments later. We just took one over the bow. Like bad. Oh my god. The pizza. No more pizza. No more pizza. No, I don't still eat. Oh my god. <laughs> Big wave, and had too much weight on the front of the boat. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I'm so soaking wet. Oh, I did have a jacket. He's <laughs> dying. Oh Lord. All right, let's not sit <laughs> Mother. Yeah. I got one too. Good for you. I think he's short though. He needs to go get his big brother. Look at that. Y'all know you got a good mom when she unhook your fish. Though he man, he's too short. Yeah, he's too short. Dang. Let's see if I can't catch one right out of this tree right here. <laughs> All right, we're back on. <laughs> we survived. <laughs> okay giving up a little bit of a secret, but this is my dad's, what we call the honey hole. This is where we always fish. Dad's been fishing here for a long time, catching a ton of fish. He actually caught, he actually caught a hundred fish out of this hole last week. Um, but it's, as you can see, from how wet we are <laughs> and how windy it is, that these waves are pretty bad. So I think we're gonna have to try another spot and go get out of the wind. All right, Dad's on the board. Mom, tell him you're not his personal D hooker. Oh, I'm Let me not. see that one. That's a good one. Where'd you just catch him at? Right over around that round clump. Fish number one. Carrie? Yeah. He's like a speck, but smaller. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are set up. We're baiting hooks right now, and we already got a fish in the boat. Wonder how Gabe's doing. Let's check in with him now. You're trying to find your cell phone, Mom, and you got a fish on. No, I'm trying to turn your dad's phone off. Well, it's in my, it's in you can, 
You can have he half of the credit go. of that one. No, he needs Mom, you're using a minnow big enough to catch a bass on. Well, that's the first minnow I got. So Y'all, she's got a dang three inch long shiner on. Well, at least it's not a sinker. That's a big one. Dad, you're supposed to turn your phone off when we're filming. Yeah. I, you are, he I, already knows that. He knows that, but I can't find it. He said it's in his, his shoe. I don't think he's legal, Gabriel. Yeah, that fish is legal, Mom. Y'all catch, y'all catching any? This time of the year in early March, they start getting small. You'll find pockets of big ones, but we caught a bunch of small ones earlier. We caught more small ones earlier than we have all season combined, I think. A month ago, they were in this thick stuff right here, and today they're definitely not. They're out there where mom's fishing in the open. Another fish in the boat. Show it to me, Carrie. Yay! What do you think, Dad? We are wet. But we're trying to be tough and pretend like we're not freezing cold. <laughs> that is a stinking keeper right there. Oh yeah, keeper in the boat. Keeper, keeper. You're on fire. Hey. I had to get a little wet first, that's all. <laughs> oh shoot. Going in the fish barrel. That's our first keeper of the night. I just missed one, so that stinks, but uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, fish on. Fish on. Oh, I, I missed him. I missed him. I think I took it right out of his mouth. This is what we're after, just bigger. I swear I've caught more small fish that today than we have all season. Yesterday. You caught small ones yesterday? Caught little ones. When we were talking with a guy on the airboat that knew you. Yeah, I don't know why they're so small. But I did earlier. I caught a big one right out in the middle of nowhere in the heat of the day. Yeah, we were. When we were fishing earlier, it was really, really hot. Like 84 degrees, 85 degrees and sunny. Starting to cool off now, though. Okay, we are all officially rigged up. We got three rods in the back. I'm working with like five rods right here. Carrie's got evidently all the rods because she's catching all the fish right now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, there it is. oh there yeah. It is. Hey, that's a heavy one. That's a heavy one. Oh, no. It ain't that heavy, Carrie. <laughs> Let me see. It's a fish in the boat. Hey. It's definitely not a keeper, yes. though. So, we're going to keep fishing, but we're doing good so far. Yep. So, we use a slip bobber with a bobber Check stop. him and see how big he is. All right, let's do it. Yeah, we got Dad, it. this is embarrassing. <laughs> hey, fish, look. Where's it got to be? Look at there. Is that a right, keeper? Right there's 10 inches. Oh, okay. And the tail goes right over to 10 inches. It's about 10 and a quarter. Look at there. They got to be 10 Almost inches 10 here. Almost 10 and a half. Day. Yeah. That's All right. We one. use a slip bobber though with the bobber stop where you can set the depth, a small weight, and a small hook. And we're using minnows for bait. Dad, how many minnows did you get today? I got a half a pound. A half a pound of minnows. Thank you. Mom's got a big one, but when she's hung up, Get this trolling motor over in the right direction. Oh, you got him coming now. You got him. Look at that. Dang, Mom. <laughs> I'm glad you're here holding down the fort. That's a big old big one. He's not as big as the ones I did catch the other day. But he's nice. Hold him up. Good one. Here, I'll even get the cooler for you. Thanks, Gabriel. Dad, it would help if me and you would actually catch some. So you can see we just moved over to the reeds. A totally different scenario. And a lot harder to film. So I gotta take the line, suck the jig up to the end of the rod like that. Do a whole bunch of stuff. Stick it in there like this. And then slowly drop it down. Mom's catching giants and I'm catching dinks. Another one? Oh my gosh. A big one. A big one. Get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Oh yeah. They're on fire on this side. But... Dang, Carrie. That is a giant. That's a good one. 
you got another one? Oh, oh shoot. That is a beautiful Lake Okeechobee speckled perch. Just another day, Dad, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just another fish. <laughs> Just another fish. Y'all, I might have spoke too soon. I've caught one fish all afternoon. Mom's got two or three and Dad's got one little one. From what I've heard though, Crystal's having a rough time too. I heard they took a wave over the bow. We're gonna move down about a half mile and fish some spots that haven't been fished. Right here, got fished hard yesterday and today. Got the tough size, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. We're doing good. We're doing, <laughs> doing really good. What is that? That's a bait fish. He's cute. Little whiskers. <laughs> Oh, look how he's spotted. Beautiful little catfish. He's so cute. Hopefully there's one sitting right there. Y'all leave a comment below if you watched my last catfishing video in the Ottawa Hall. I uploaded it last Thursday, I think. Nope, last Monday. That was a good one. Ian with Tug Trash came as his girlfriend Crystal. It was a good time. Mom, you need to start catching them again. You were supposed to be catching about one every other minute. Let me see. Little. Nice. We just got the generator turned on, turned on the lights. Because we are going to fish to the night. Bobber down, bobber down, bobber down. Oh, biggin, 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 dad. Biggin, dad. Bring him over here, Get the net, get the get net. The net. Get the net, get the net. Oh, what a bigger. Yeah! That's a tree shaker right there. <laughs> tree shaker. Whoa! Yeah! That's a bigger. That's a big old bigger. That's a tree shaker there. Yeah. Shoot him, Liz. This is a big one. Shoot that gator. Oh, oh my nice. Lord. Nice. Dad. That, that there get close to two pounds. Look really impressed. That's a long, big, girthy crappie. This might win our little uh, tournament. <laughs> I can't catch a keeper to save my life. I'll take him off for you. That's probably the same fish that hit me all three times. Linda's got one in the back again. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Let me see that fish. That is a keeper. Nice job. Oh, finally got me a keeper. Oh, wait just a minute. I'll get him. He'll probably come off when he hits the deck. I'll get him. I'll put him in the He comes off good when you drop him on the deck like that. I'm finally on the board, folks. Another fish in the boat. Dad, is this keeper number? I, I'm not sure. Maybe keeper number like six, seven, yeah, possibly. Could be potentially beating the Arrington family. You better hurry up and get another one. What? You're up kidding. There. Go get him, Daddy. Go get him, Daddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> he came off. Dog on it. Potentially beating the Arrington family. I don't know. Let's check in with him. The big one. Look at the size of the fish Dad just caught, folks. Yeah, well, it's as big as him. Look at that. <laughs> That's a nice one. Man, he probably full hard too. Full of row. I, and I'm gonna clean this fish because that's my favorite thing to eat. The eggs? Yes, I love those things. We should turn her loose. Yeah, we need to turn her loose in that cooler. You want to turn her loose in the cooler? Yep. We might not win the most, but we probably just won the biggest oh. with that one. Whoa! Y'all, this one tried to get out. Oh man, that's a big Did old big one. He 
swam on top of that water. In the Ooh, net. Oh, nice. Out of go, Linda. <laughs> Bringing it up on the rear. <laughs> Nice slab right there. Out of girl. Dad with the net job too. You make a good deck hand, Daddy. A good deck hand. And captain. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Me and mom and dad fished a little bit after dark. Caught a few more. I think we ended up with about 15 fish total. From what I've heard, I haven't seen the footage yet. Y'all already have. These goofballs here had a heck of an afternoon. I heard y'all were cold. Um, I'm mean. You're dry? Well, I'm drier than I was earlier. Gabriel, I'm talking way over the boat. Yeah. My shoes are full of water. <laughs> How do you take a wave over the bow of a pontoon it boat? It hit them here. <laughs> like came <laughs> over. How does that even happen? Well, you had, had two chicks sitting in the seats in the front. Shouldn't have been he up blames there. it on the And they had the Pizza Hut. Y'all couldn't go without the Pizza Hut, huh? The Pizza Hut got drenched. Now, if me and you were out and you got wet, we'd have had to come back in. We had a competition to, to finish. How many did y'all get? We just had to suck it up. We're fixing the How many I know Titus, Titus is like, y'all, we ain't going back until we have more than them. How many did you get? I think we got about 12. We got that beat by a long shot. He got more than 12. I caught two fish. My dad out jigged me today. I told them, I was like, he caught more than Let two. Me He's see. pulling my leg. Let me see. I'm telling you right now, I didn't catch but one or two. Holy <laughs> cow, y'all definitely won. Yeah, but how many did you have in there from earlier? None. There was none Gabriel, we slammed, like, we caught a bunch. As we wouldn't have we got out there, Carrie. You know we were catching <laughs> fish as wet as we were. And <laughs> see, we stayed out there, you know we were catching We were on them because that's why we stayed out there. The bad thing is, is I tried to cheat and we still out. wouldn't have won. Look at all them fish. Look at it. That is a slab. That one underneath is huge. Mm -hmm. Look at that one. What the heck? Check out these. Mom fish. and Dad kept all of our fish. We had probably no more than no more than twelve. I figured you were crushing them. This no. you stayed out so late. Look. Nope. Look how big some of these are. That one right there is a big and hold him up. Linda must have caught that one. We each caught one giant. Look at this one. Yeah, them are big ones. Y'all, males do not get much bigger than that, I can tell you. All right, folks, I got a confession to make. So I got a big issue in life. Crystal asked me to go by the store when I got off the boat because obviously it took them longer to get to the house than me. She asked me to get one thing for her. Here's my obsession. I have a spending money problem. I couldn't just get the one thing she wanted. I saw some peeps and I'm like, definitely gotta have those. Saw one of these things. I'm like, well, that carrot probably looks good. Saw these things was like, yep, they look good. Might as well grab another one of these. Now listen, I don't fully believe that y'all won because I haven't done a account in our cooler yet but since y'all survived the crash and maybe you won there's your prize there's your prize an early easter gift yeah all right folks so i'm gonna tell you something else that we do i edit all my own videos and normally crystal doesn't get to see them maybe just a little clip here or there while i'm editing until they're on youtube so right now we're all getting ready to watch my most recent video, the stone crab video. If you haven't seen it, you better check it out. It's one of the coolest, funnest videos we've ever made. And it has so much stuff in it. Wahoos and big snappers and spear fishing. And that crab, that pitcher doesn't even do him a just. He looks, he looks small actually in that pitcher. He is way bigger than that. This one was the biggest one I'd ever seen in my life until I caught this one. And that one, I don't even know how to describe him. He's a monster. Is he being a, are you really being a sissy right now? Y'all need to be getting that water out of the creek. City water has a little bit of chlorine in it. Y'all, we just got home, picked the boys up. Crystal, Luke, and Jake are putting more water in Luke's aquarium in his bedroom. 
which I don't think he realized that city water has a little bit of chlorine in it and that's not good for a fish tank. We are about to smoke some wahoo that we caught in the Bahamas last weekend. My stone crab video is kicking butt on YouTube. If you have not watched it, I highly suggest you watching it. It was my very last video. Gonna clean up the boat, we're gonna clean some fish, and I'm gonna give you all a garden update. I never thought in my life I'd be saying a garden update, but you're gonna get one. Now you gotta remember, some of the fans haven't yet seen this, so give them a little recap. All right, okra, cucumbers. These are all of our cucumber bushes. That's what you call a cucumber, is a bush? I don't really, it can be a cucumber bush or a vine. I think we got bushes. How clean do you think Luke's gonna stay going down to the creek right now? He's gonna come back filthy. Don't you come back filthy and get the house dirty. Squash plants, they're looking a little rough. I think it's the bugs. Look, I can see a fly right there on it. Look, you get off my plant. See that leaf? the leaf. It's not looking good. Oh, look, the ants are on it. Oh, you jerks. We gotta kill them. Yeah, we'll take care of that. This is my We've tomato plant. We've been gone plant. for like two days. So. I haven't told them about this one yet. So Crystal bought some tomatoes that she really, really liked. I took the seeds out and planted them and look, they're growing. Oh my God. Why are the mushrooms so bad? This is hard. <laughs> Gardening in Florida is hard. Now we're watering it too much, I reckon. Look at the size of this thing. Those might be edible. Jake, you wanna try it? You wanna yeah, try a mushroom? Y'all leave a comment below if these mushrooms are good or bad. Oh, no, they can't be good. I did put some fish juice in there. Let's did see. It. What? I didn't put any fish juice in this one though, and they're growing in this one too. Yeah, it may just be we're just watering it too much. It's too damp. I don't well, know. Well, it rained yesterday like an inch. Our basil's looking good. Yeah. We've got some tomato blooms. We got tomatoes on this one right here. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Little baby tomatoes. These are the cherry ones. Nice. These are all the tomatoes that I got out of her little pack that she bought from the grocery store. But somebody told me that they might not produce tomatoes because they could be sterile. I don't know. We're trying. Who needs help? Oh, Luke? You tried to shoot this with a broadhead. Your brother probably. We have a creek right down there and Luke's getting some water for his aquarium out of the creek. We got some carrots that are taking their time right there, folks. Hey, these are doing good. That's the... But look, do you, wait, did you plant stuff around no, it? No, I don't think so. That's the difference, I guess. Yeah. These are all weeds. So the soil in that drum right there came out of the creek. All the rest of this dirt we bought, and it was actually pretty expensive. It was like $10 a bag. And I wanted to do a trial run. Somebody told me that the dirt out of the creek that has a lot of leaves and stuff, you know, dead and organic compost that's out of there, we got and put it in that drum and those actually look the best. What are, What's in there though? Squash? Yes, squash. They dang sure by far look the best. Because the ones that came in the organic from Home Depot soil are the ones with the bugs and the one in that soil don't have bugs. Somebody else also told me to bury fish around my orange tree and I did and now look at all the blowflies and maggots because the stupid raccoons dig it all up. They're probably not gonna make it past tonight though. I got some traps for them. They will be no longer. So I'm trying something new here. I got this chicken wire off the chicken coop that's falling down and I snipped it to this because I'm predicting these tomato plants are gonna keep growing up and I can stick the branches through there and I think that'll help support the tomato plants. This one I did like this. The next one I'm gonna put here and come down at an angle to the plant. I don't know which one will work or if any of them will work because I'm no gardener. I'm just learning. So leave a comment below. If you have any tips for us with gardening, what kind of natural fertilizer that we can put on these plants, what kind of natural bug deterrent we can put on the plants, leave a comment below. I read all of my comments. Seasoned wahoo. Slap her on there. We got it at 221 high smoke. You making us some fish dip? How long will this take? It all depends. I'm hungry. I'll have to cook some fish in a minute. I'm gonna eat a little bit of it, probably. This'll take hours, at least three hours. Ah, uh, you know, before I moved to Florida, I never knew or had fished it before. And now you eat and it by now, the gallon? I, it's delicious. I can't believe I lived that long without having it. All right. 
Now, if you watched our last video, the stone crab video, you saw we only caught three wahoo. One small one, one medium that got bit by a shark, and then one decent one. None of them were big. And there was four of us on the boat. We ate it both nights that we were there. When we got home, Tom and his wife took some with them. We kept some and we still have more than we can eat. So that's why we're making smoked fish dip with it. We're just wahooed out right now. So we're gonna make a good dip because this weekend is open a weekend of youth turkey season. We met some new people on a ranch up north and we're gonna bring some with us and a bunch of lobster tails. You guys, I'm gonna show you one of the best appetizers you will ever eat in your life. Check that out. Little piece of wahoo, Crystal just smoked it. This was from our fish a little while ago. You don't have to get crazy. Another little piece of jalapeno, a couple pieces of onion. If you're Crystal, you want a bunch of onion. Look, dad's right behind us, he's- I like onions. You can do this for a party or whatever. A little bit of Crystal's hot sauce. Oh no. Oh yeah. What's wrong with it? I don't like that hot, hot sauce. All right, y'all grab one, one for each of you and tell me what you think. <laughs> really? I like onions. The whole thing, son. You put the whole thing in your mouth? Put it all in your mouth without making a mess, Jake. Crystal, try yours. Look, if you have kids, you know what it's like. Look, dad didn't make one ounce of a mess. Jake dropped half of his on the ground. Just throw it in there. Crystal, there's yours right there. Look, Crystal didn't drop a single piece. Half of Jake's is on the ground. Oh, the big mouthful. <laughs> was it good or no? Yeah, it's good. What <laughs> a baby. It's not soft. Why aren't you talking, babe? My mouth is full. <laughs> it's not hot, but that sauce tastes yeah, bad. Crystal's hot sauce is the best, Jake. I don't know. All right, you guys, you've seen me cook crappie in a ton of videos. We're getting ready for youth turkey season. We got an amazing place to take Jake and Luke. Crystal's gonna go and Crystal and Jake's gonna hunt together. Me and Luke are gonna hunt together. It's going to be a blast. I need to finish this video though before we can go. So I'm ending it right now. Leave a comment below if you wanna see us do more challenges like that. Editing this video was some of the most fun I've ever had editing. Seeing Crystal's happiness and taking the wave over the bow and me and dad up there struggling. You guys, it is what it is. I have caught thousands of crappie, but yesterday just wasn't my day. Earlier in the day it was, but then once we went out on the challenge, I couldn't find them. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.